Hello, let's go to another add-on. This add-on is focused on creating face mesh with higher quality. So you have to grab these two files. This first one, SAB 3D, is the add-on itself and the BFM. It's a process you need to run in order to make the add-on to work. Let's go to through the steps. First, let's do the add-on part. I'm here in a new instance in AWS with Blender fired up and let's install the add-on. Pretty straightforward to this part. Enable and now you will have it on the sidebar. You have this option that are not enabled because it won't work. You have to do this part first, the creation of the virtual environment. Let's choose a place for it. In my case, I'm going to create a VM folder and I'm going to install inside of it. Now, oh, important part, I really think it's very useful to toggle the system console so you can see what's happening behind the scene. Okay, so let's create the virtual environment. It should not take long. Now we are going to install all the Python packages. It's going to open a new window and install everything for you. Just keep watching to see if it's going to show any kind of error. And if it shows some error here, you should grab it and ask me about it. And I'll, I will do my best to help you. On Twitter on, or on Discord are the best, best places for it. I'm going to pause now because it takes a while and I'll come back. Now the installation is finished. There is no, uh, no error here. We can continue with the installation. And I'm going to force some errors for you to know what to do. And that is, you have to input the model. You have some explanation here. You have to import some BFM files, but first you have to create them. That's the complicated part. And let's try to see an error here. Let me erase the cube and I'm going to add two images, which I don't have here yet. Let me grab it just a moment. Now that I have a picture, let me grab it here. I have these two images. I'm going to load it. And you see two files. I can execute, but it's not going to work because it needs some more data. At first, it will probably download some other files. And I had this problem before. The face alignment package needs to download a couple of files, but it gives some error. But we can deal with it quite easily. Not that much easy, but it can be done. If you have problems on this part and it shows this kind of error, downloading and then an error, you can get the link here. You can copy this link and you paste on your browser and it's going to download this file. Where are you going to use this file? You can copy it or cut and go to this place, user, administrator, cache, 
torch hub checkpoint and paste it there. Let's go there. It's C users administrator cache torch hub checkpoint and paste it. If you are going to execute it will throw another error because it needs two files. And the other file is this one. Uh, uh, let's copy like we did before and paste here. And you have another file downloaded. Let's wait for it to finish. Is it done? Seems so. No, it's not done. Oh, sorry, it's this one. <laughs> Let's copy. And we are going to paste on the same folder. Let's paste it here and let's try again. It's expected to give an error because we didn't do the other parts. And you have it. The error is that you don't have the bfm.mat. This part is this one that is explained over here. You have to download a Bazel model. It, here is a link to download it. In this case, it, not to download, to request the link to download. You must acknowledge some things for non-commercial use and and you enter your name institution. You must agree with everything to download. You put your info and you receive via email a link to download the, the file. And you have to process this data in MATLAB. You you get the Bezel model, and you have to get this other file, the BFM needs MATLAB. You unpack it, and let's see the rest of the information. It says, get the zip file, Bezel needs MATLAB, unzip it in C drive and the root. You get the Bezel model, this one from this link, and unzip the one morphable model dot mat and paste on BFM raw and execute the generate M in MATLAB. The results are gonna be on the out folder. There are three files that you need bfm.mat, bfm info, bfm uv. Then you press the import to import these three files. So let's go to MATLAB. I could install it on my on the EC2 instance because there are some licensing issues, probably because I, I already installed it on my PC. So let's fire it up here. So, oh, first, I have the what I have to do. Let me erase this so I can do from the beginning. And just a minute, let me fix this. So let's go. You need this BFM needs MATLAB zip file. You can open it. You will have this folder. You extract to the root of C folder. And it extracted these files. You will have this raw folder that is empty. What will you do? You will get the from the link that you received on the email. You will download this Bezel Face model, and you open it. You have to enter this public mm1, and here is the file that you need. You get this 01 morphable model and place it on the raw CBFM raw folder. So let's do this. Here you have the morphable model. Now you can go to the 
MATLAB. With MATLAB open, you can press open here and you can find where you placed the here when you place the files that you unzip it and see BFM and open this generate dot M open it and you have it showed over here you can see the path is already set that's why you need to unzip it on the C folder because these paths are already set to make it easier for you so you have the model over there you open the file now you just press just need to press run if you see the out folder is going to be empty let's run it change folder and it's it's going to process and start creating the data that you need you just need those three files let's go back to the server I already copied the files over here I have it here those three files now we are going to import them these three mat files great now we can try again but we are going to have an error because we didn't don't have the model yet but let's try it you see it says it can't find the two views model on the net weights path that's because we didn't add the model we can get the model by going on this link download model it, it will point to a Google Drive from the creators of the, the, the repository the script we download them download it with it downloaded we can import the model so let's import it to views model import and now it should work let's see execute oh it won't work here on the AWS side it's it has 60 gigabytes of memory it didn't work it asked for a bit more but I can show on my PC my PC has 24 gigabytes of RAM VRAM and it worked let's see I have two images let's grab this not this one let's grab this one the same one we added on the server we add image and we are going to execute let me grab my view from the VRAM you can see here it's using 4 gigabytes and increasing it goes up to 21 gigabytes and drops I think probably it's this problem it gives a peak at 21 gigabytes and it gives some memory error so probably you have at least 22 gigabytes to make it work and it's done you can press load to import the face models that you just have processed if you wanna try another one you can press add image let's grab this two for example it's gonna clean the other files they are here because I already loaded but if I want to load I, I won't be a, wouldn't be able because it doesn't exist anymore and let's process this let's see here you 
see it picked the peak was about 21 gigabytes again and it's done let's load and we have other two models from those images. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any kind of feedback, feel free to send me. Bye-bye.